Let's do some rotation work. First we'll make a new camera. 28 millimeter is fine. And let's let's just make sure we know which is our camera window. So let's just make some text here. Text camera enter V and let's just drag that down a bit, make it a little smaller, make it a guide layer so it doesn't render in the movie. It is now a guide layer and let's lock it. Now we know that when we have two windows that this one is the active camera, this one is not. Right now it's the left view, let's leave it as that. Type in the text Hit V for selection, move it into the middle, boom. It is now 3D. Let's use the custom view. Zoom in, select the glip. Right now we're in local axis mode. It looks the same as world axis mode. This is because we haven't rotated the text at all. If we rotate the text, uh, hit W. Or rotate. We see that the axes stay where they are relative to the world. And you are rotating the object. If you drag on one of the arrows using the W key or the rotate tool, you'll see that it rotates relative to the world. Let's just undo that. Now if we were uh, using the local axis, you see the axes now align to the text object, and if we drag on the axis here, it rotates that way. R So, do we like what we have? Oh, let's turn it a little bit. Let's tilt it a little less. Local axis mode or world axis mode. Choose one depending on how you want to rotate your object. So if our goal is to make a glip sign that rotates like it's on a tall pole, our job with these is basically done. You don't want to get into too much more rotation using these tools at this point. What I recommend you do is make a new null object, rotate the null, and parent this to the null. Let's make that null. You will see what I mean. New null object. And there it is. This is the center point of the null object. Uh, let's make it 3D. Let's take the glip, which is our child, drag the pick whip. You need to have the parent column visible here. To do that, you if you don't have it visible, you go over to this column, control click on it, columns, parent. Now we have parent checked, so we're okay. Click away. As I said, glip is the child, so grab the pick whip, bring it over to null, and null becomes the parent of glip. Hit R. Now we can rotate using the rotations instead of the orientations. If you'll see now, the reason why this looks strange is because we're in the custom view. Let's go to the left view pull out a bit you'll see that the glip rotates as you would expect a sign to rotate look at the null and see how the null is rotating let's look at the top view top view there we go it's just rotating 
around. Let's actually animate that. Start with zero, zero, and let's keyframe that, the Y rotation of the null at zero. Let's say one rotation in five seconds and let's loop that, loop the playback, make a RAM preview, see what it looks like. Now there is a very slight jog at the end, a very slight delay, because the first frame and the last frame are equal. So you get one frame playing twice. You get it playing at the end and then you get it playing again at the beginning. The way to get rid of that is to make sure that your work area, the area that's playing, is one frame shorter than from one keyframe to the other. So you just shorten your work area by one frame and then you play it again and it should be smooth. You don't have that little stop at the end. So this is your gas station sign basically for blip gas. You tilt the sign using the rotation arrows, or you could use the orientation values for the glip, just to position it, tilt it a bit, then to actually make it rotate, you parent it to a null and you rotate the null.